From the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Tuesday, February 17th, 2015. I'm Ann Gownley. Tonight, Hazleton City Council has its regular bi-weekly meeting, and our Gary Perna will be at Hazleton City Hall tonight with all of the details. Now, Council is looking at passing an ordinance that will regulate different, uh, must secure a $200 permit and have their properties inspected by code enforcement. Now, that is for establishments and events that deal with BYOB, that's Bring Your Own beverage. Now, and they will have to be inspected by the Code Enforcement and Fire Department. The proposed ordinance recognizes problems associated with improperly regulating or operating BYOB establishments, saying they pose health, safety, and welfare concerns. The BYOB business permit is effective through December 31st of the year it is issued. Council will consider voting on the first reading of this ordinance tonight at 7 p.m. Coming up, that is coming up tonight on Late Edition with our Gary Perna. It is now up to a jury to decide whether convicted killer Hugo Zelinsky will face the death penalty. All 12 of the jurors must agree in order for the death penalty, the death penalty to be imposed. The prosecution will try to convince the jury that Zelinsky deserves the death penalty by bringing up his lengthy criminal past. The defense may call on more witnesses who will testify about Zelensky's character and hardships that he may have experienced in his life. The last time a Luzerne County jury imposed the death sentence was in 1994. Michael Bardo sexually assaulted a three-year-old girl, suffocated her, and dumped her in a creek. He remains on death row. Zelensky's penalty phase comes days after Governor Tom Wolf issued a moratorium on the death penalty. One of the last two anchor stores in the Schuylkill Mall could be closing this year. Elaine Manival, who is the real estate manager for the mall, emailed this statement to us. Quote, we have valued Kmart as a tenant at the Schuylkill Mall for many years and are obviously disappointed that they will not be extending their lease at the end of this current term, which is October 2015. Candidly, this is not a big surprise as Kmart and Sears have been realigning their corporate strategy and as a company now operates fewer than half of the stores that existed when the companies merged with approximately 200 stores closing in 2014, unquote. According to her, the mall is looking into replacing in Kmart if they do not renew their lease. The store has approximately 80 employees. Those who are eligible will receive severance pay and will have the opportunity to apply for open positions at area Sears or Kmart stores. The United States had a record number of measles cases in 2014 with 644 cases from 27 states. Tonight our Julie Stefanovich has details on how to keep you and your family safe from the disease and information from physicians locally here in the greater Hazleton area. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, 121 people from 17 states have contracted measles in the past month. Most of the cases are linked to people who recently visited Disneyland in California. To get a local perspective on the outbreak, we spoke with Dr. Jim Kajana of the Lehigh Valley Physicians Group. Um, the outbreak seemed to start in, in Disneyland in California of all places. Um, it seems to be being allowed to perpetuate just because there are, first of all, kids who are too young to get the vaccine. We don't immunize against measles in children less than a year of age, the vaccine is, an is not effective that young. And uh, also, um, there are people who have made the decision, for a lot of reasons, to either delay or to refuse to have their kids immunized against measles. The disease is 90% transmittable, and if you've never had the measles, you are nine chances out of 10 likely to get them. We asked Dr. Kajana if this is a cause for concern in the Hazleton area. There's no measles right here and right now in the Hazleton area. The problem is that could change any time um, when a person who's been exposed to the measles um, is incubating the disease, they're contagious for a few days before the rash comes out. So if someone comes and visits their grandmom in Pennsylvania from someplace else where there has been an outbreak, Arizona for example, they may expose other children who have not been immunized to the disease. To in Hazleton, reporting for WYLN's News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. 
a century-old three-story church building in Shenandoah that housed a convent is in the process of being demolished. The convent was the Shenandoah home of the Bernadine Sisters of the Third Order of St. Francis. It was being used as the convent since last year when structural problems caused the sisters to leave. The new center will be held in the 200 block of West Cherry Street in the former Annunciation BVM Church Rectory. The building also served as a ordinary ordination church chapel no word when the building still demolition will be completed Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs is changing its name. Its new name will be Mohegan Sun Pocono. Over the next few months, the casino will be changing its signs, logos, and paper products. President of Mohegan Sun, Mike Bean, said that the company wanted to differentiate the casino in Plains from Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. The name change is already reflected in its website, MohegansunPocono.com. As I mentioned earlier tonight, Hazleton City Council has its regular bi-weekly meeting. And our Gary Perna is now standing by live outside of Hazleton City Hall with details on what we can expect from council this evening. Gary? Well, thank you. And we are live outside Hazleton City Hall where tonight City Council will meet and they will talk about two new ordinances. One dealing with public nudity and banning it in the city and restricting it. The other one dealing with BYOB businesses and organizations here in the city. Now, yes, last night on WYLN, we talked with Councilman Jeff Cassatt, who says there are no ordinance currently uh, ruling these issues in the city. Tonight, they will be brought up. The chief and council uh, member, Jeff Cassatt, came up with ordinances dealing with that. They'll be voted on tonight. Council will also vote on appointing, reappointing many members to boards here in the city. Of course, WYLN will be at the meeting tonight. We'll have the very latest for you coming up tonight on late edition live outside hazelton city hall i'm gary parna back to you and that is a look at tonight's top stories time now for a first look at our forecast with chief meteorologist joe garbachik in the weather center with the latest joe a sunny but still very cold day today what can we expect weather wise for the rest of the week that's right, Ann. Cold today, but we saw the sunshine. We saw some of that light snow around earlier. Here's a look at satellite and radar, and you can see these clear skies across all of our area. There'll be a few more clouds as we head through the next couple of hours. There's now 18 in New Angola, 23 in Berwick, 23 in Bloomsburg, 23 degrees in Danville. For those of you now watching us, in Shenandoah, Schuylkill County, you're at 20 degrees, wind speed of 7, feeling like it's about 13. You'll see partly cloudy skies over the next couple of hours. It'll be about 16 at 7 o'clock, 14 by 9, and it'll be dropping down to about 10 degrees by the 11 o'clock hour. We'll have more for you coming up a little bit later on. Back to you, Ann. Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, today is Fat Tuesday, also known as Fashionat Day or Donut Day. WYLN was in Berwick last week, and tonight we have all the details on the sweet treats. More news is headed your way, only on WYLN. You're watching WYLN News, Greater Hazleton's only local news broadcast with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Kristen Bazinski, weather with Joe Garbacic, and sports with Eric DeBerardinis and Gabriella Justin. Penn State is right here in the Hazleton area. We're top ranked by corporate recruiters. We have four year degrees, so you can finish here or at another Penn State campus. There's new scholarship money available. And there's no application fee when you visit here. Penn State Hazleton. Download your application fee waiver at psu.edu slash visit Hazleton. Hey kids, I'm home. Dad, it's cold in here. Oh, it's not cold in here, it's warm in here. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn this down because i got to save money for tax preparation. On Staves, your tax partner, giving free advice year-round. 310 South Church Street in Hazleton. Call them at 570-861-8297. Don't stress, pay less.
a winning smile. It's not the secret to success, but it sure helps. Protect your smile by visiting Dr. Weiss for complete dental services. Dr. Weiss offers a full-service denture laboratory on-premises, offering dentures in one day. Three dentists, four hygienists, and a team of caring technicians and assistants specializing in quality dentures and repairs, complete general dentistry, extractions, cleaning, and caps. Dr. Weiss, where you can have new dentures in one day. Wednesday, February 18th marks the beginning of the Lenten season for members of the Christian faith. Today is known as Fat Tuesday, Fashionat Day, or Donut Day. WYLN stopped in Berwick last Friday to talk with Rotary members who were hard at work making several different varieties of donuts. And of course, president of the Berwick Rotary Club, Bob Lamard, explained to WYLN that they use special machines, as you see here, to make the donuts, and he says it makes them a lot safer to make, of course. Now, based on the supplies that they purchase each and every year, they sell approximately 1,200 dozen. Well, that is a lot of donuts. So make sure you stop by to get your donut for Fashnot Day. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik has a look at our forecast and details on how warm we are going to have to dress in the upcoming days. Stay tuned. At Cuck's Turkey Farm, we are family owned and operated for over 45 years and we consistently strive to produce premium poultry. We offer the finest all natural country poultry, antibiotic free, all vegetarian fed with superior white meat yield and exceptional flavor. So we invite you to experience the unique natural taste of our poultry for your enjoyment and your health. Give us a call or stop in today. Life has its twists and turns. It can take many different shapes. But a good retirement plan changes with your life. And as we talk about what you're putting away and how much you'll need to retire, what was uncertain becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Think you have what it takes to be WYLN's next cooking show personality? Send us your name, contact information, a picture, and in 50 words or less, tell us why you should be Granny in our new Granny's Kitchen show. Our new Granny's Kitchen show host will have the opportunity to prepare heritage recipes and share cooking, crafting, and other helpful tips from years gone by. Email ltolan at wyntv.com or mail wyln35, 1057 East 10th Street, Hazleton, Pennsylvania, 18201. Do you have what it takes? Send in your application today. Well, skies are clear for the most part at this 5.30 hour. Winds are relatively light, but it is still cold across our region. Here's a look at the graphic. We did have some of that uh, light snow around earlier last night into early this morning, which you'll be able to see right there on the screen. And that system that we've been dealing with now, it was a quick moving system, didn't produce a lot of precipitation, fairly light amounts across all of our viewing area. But that, of course, has now made its way toward the east. Here's a look at our live 35 Skycast Doppler statewide. And you know what? You will not find any precipitation throughout the state of Pennsylvania. You'll see plenty of clear skies. Now, as we head through this evening, we're going to have to deal with a couple of clouds making their way into our area. But other than that, really not expecting anything significant. Our live Lehigh tire conditions outside our station in Hazleton, we're hanging on to 13 degrees and those winds continuing to be relatively light. Almanac page for the day, 27 and 3 to split in temperatures compared to the averages of 37 and 21, well below where we should be for this time of year. Look at these temperatures now, 22 Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, 20 in Mount Pocono, 21 degrees in State College. Next couple hours across our area will remain dry, a cold night ahead of us, dropping down to about 12 by the 9 p.m. hour and then 7 degrees with a few clouds around by 11 o'clock this evening. Satellite and radar, nothing to show you across the uh, northeast and we're going to stay quiet and we should stay dry through the rest of this evening 
And as we head through tonight, now as we head into tomorrow, another front's going to come through, another Arctic front. And we're going to be looking at some uh, periods of some snow. And when that Arctic front comes through, possibly later tomorrow evening, say maybe 8, 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow night, a band of some heavier snow squalls will overspread our area. Going to have to watch out for that if you're traveling. Dropping down into the single digits tonight, you can see the numbers as we head into tomorrow and going into our Thursday morning, you'll be waking up with temperatures once again in the single digits. Now in terms of precipitation amounts, here's what we can expect out of this. Not a whole lot, generally about maybe an inch if we're lucky possibly an inch and a half, but other than that, that's about it. Not going to expect a whole lot, but that dip in the jet stream will prevail across our area, and it's even going to get colder once again as that Arctic front comes through. Here's a look at the extended forecast. The cold weather stays. Some of that snow overspreads our area. Snow showers and squalls tomorrow, and especially into tomorrow evening, and look how cold it will be for Thursday. And Friday, our daily drawing of the Pennsylvania Lottery numbers, the pick 204, the pick 3496, and the pick 40674. Back to you, Ann. I'm good, I'm good. Athletes try talking themselves out of being hurt. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Working past the pain because they want to keep on playing. Okay. I'm good. Coordinated Health understands. As the number one sports medicine team in the region, we get these champions back in the game with pro-level care. Yeah, I'm good. Because we make you better together. Hey, kids, I'm home. Oh, it's not cold in here, it's warm in here. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn this down because i got to save money for tax preparation. Honest Abe's, your tax partner, giving free advice year-round. 310 South Church Street in Hazleton. Call them at 570-861-8297. Don't stress, pay less. Get your green on and join us for the Wilkes-Barre St. Patrick's Day Parade, Sunday, March 15th. Parade coverage starts at 2 p.m. live on WYLN TV 35. Thousands of spectators, vintage vehicles, local talent, floats, marching bands, and more. The Wilkes-Barre St. Patrick's Day Parade, Sunday, March 15th. Parade coverage starts at 2 p.m. on WYLN TV 35. We're your local network. This year marks the 37th annual Greater Hazleton American Cancer Society Telethon. Tonight, more on this year's telethon from co-chair Jane Dougherty. Tell us a little bit about this year's telethon. Obviously, 37 years ago, it was, it was much different than it is today. The amount of volunteers, the amount of hours, the amount of money that is being collected. Tell us, what is this year's telethon all about? Well, this year, 37 years later, it's Give Hope, Celebrate Life, and that's exactly what we hope to do. Our telethon serves a couple of purposes. Of course, we like to raise money for the American Cancer Society, but we also use it as a, a, an educational tool. And for instance, our second graders throughout the Hazleton area have contributed balloons, little designs that they made in art class. Um, and to them, it may be just a balloon, but it also has a cancer prevention message on each balloon. So we're teaching children at an early age that there are things they can do to prevent cancer, such as not smoking, eating a healthy diet, wearing sunscreen. And so that's an important part of our telethon. Our money that is raised at the telethon also goes toward research. So uh, I think you probably know that we have many services in the Hazleton area, such as our volunteer driver, the Road to Recovery program, our Look Good, Feel Better program. Uh, patients can get free wigs, and that's, that's uh, all very good. But also a very important part of our money goes to support research. The American Cancer Society discovered tamoxifen. Um, they also discovered Gleevec, which is a drug that uh, targets leukemia cells. We have 46 Nobel Prize winners that were funded by the American Cancer Society. And today I'm pleased to say that there are 14 million cancer survivors in the United States. about this year's entertainment? 
we have cheerleaders, we have dancers, we have singers, we have a fiddler. And one of the new things this year, we have a children's fashion show. So early in the telethon, um, somewhere between the 12 and 1 o'clock hour, you'll be seeing some youngsters from the Hazelton area wearing fashions donated by Boscovs in the Laurel Mall. And they're going to each tell you a little bit of a cancer story, because everyone's affected by cancer. Personally, or a friend or family member, everyone is affected by cancer. And so these children have also been affected by cancer, and they're going to tell you a little bit about their story and why they're modeling fashions at our telethon. The telethon itself, you've been involved with it for many, many years. Tell us your stance on this and what it really means to you seeing this telethon happen each and every year and the money that is donated from the greater Hazleton area. Well, it's very personal to me. I, I, of course, have been affected by cancer, too. I lost a brother to colon cancer, and so it's a very special part of my life. But uh, it, it's a, a very big family that we have with the American Cancer Society, and you all at WILN are part of that, of course. And we really feel like we make a difference. We make a difference fighting cancer. We bring the community together, and we serve a very important purpose. And I, couldn't, I could not not be a part of it and for you being a part of it and if anybody wants to join that family to help out uh, each year you have hundreds of volunteers throughout the year and especially during the telethon Me how too. can people reach out and, and be a part of the telethon and, and help uh, those patients that are battling cancer well anyone can call our local number anytime we do have a local resource center I'm proud to say it's housed in the cancer treatment center at 1701 East Broad Street in Hazleton and we have volunteers and staff there twice a week who will answer your questions, um, take information, help you get set up with services for the ACS. And that's also who you can call or go to if you'd like to be a part of our volunteer family. And the number is the same number you call for pledges. It's 570-459-1212. And make sure that you tune into WYLN from 11 to 11 or stop by the Laurel Mall. The telethon will be held this year on February 28th. Coming up next, Eric DeBerardinas is in with sports. Stay tuned. The Hazleton Unit of the American Cancer Society presents the 37th annual telethon, Give Hope, Celebrate Life. The American Cancer Society's annual telethon will be held Saturday, February 28th at the Laurel Mall in Hazleton and broadcast live on WILN TV 35 from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Join us for a day filled with great entertainment. Help us celebrate the telethon's 37th year as we raise money for a cure. The American Cancer Society's telethon is made possible by these businesses. We're at that point in the season where it's win or sun. Go shovel the snow. District playoffs tip off tonight with teams looking to extend their seasons and capture local glory. Before we preview the slate of action, a look at the weekly boys basketball power rankings. Just outside the rankings, Holy Redeemer and Hanover. GAR at number five after a statement win over those Hawkeyes last week to claim the Division II crown yet again. The Grenadiers with the potential to make some noise as the number three seed in the AAA playoffs. Hazleton Sunday lost to Crestwood, not only lost them the conference championship, but a bye in the Quad A playoffs. The Cougars looking at a potential rematch with Williamsport in the Quad A semifinals. They lost to the Millionaires in overtime in January. Number three, Tamaqua. Despite scoring only 28 points and taking an overtime to do so, the Blue Raiders may have played their best basketball of the season in the Schuylkill League Finals loss to Pottsville. Tamaqua gets North Schuylkill again in the AA playoffs, a team they lost to at the end of the regular season. Number two, Crestwood has rattled off 13 consecutive wins, including two against Hazleton, after losing to the Cougars in early January. If the Comets reach the AAA Finals, they could face Grand and prep one of the top teams in the state. The top team in our rankings remains unchanged. Pottsville, Schuylkill League champions for the fifth time in six years and ranked number 21 in the state of Pennsylvania as the Crimson Tide prepare for what they hope is a run at the state 
title. We now transition to tonight's action, starting in the top half of the District 2 AAA boys bracket, highlighted by a Division 1 versus Division 2 Wyoming Valley Conference battle between Berwick and Nanticoke. And the two teams that tie for third place in Division 1 match up again with Pittston hosting Tonkanic. The Tigers and Patriots split their regular season meetings. In the lower section of the bracket, familiar foes GAR and Wyoming area and Dallas and Crestwood will square off. All AAA games at 7 o'clock tonight. In the girls' quad A sub-regional, Hazleton area with a bye and awaits the winner of Williamsport and Wyoming Valley West. We also have the quarterfinals for the AA and boys and girls tonight, plus the MMI prep boys in the single A play-in game. Tonight on Late Edition Sports, we'll have highlights from district playoff action across the area. But next, Joe Garbacic will have a look at your upcoming forecast. All Care Home Care, the health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice. For your care, call us and we'll be there. Well, I'll never forget it. One minute, we are talking about going to the movies, and the next, Maggie could barely speak. It was a stroke. I thought I was going to lose her. But I never saw doctors work so fast. Anyway, she's coming home tomorrow. I just hope she doesn't yell at me for killing all the plants. <laughs> Tune in each week to WYLN TV 35 to watch the number one Hazleton-based broadcasted television talk show, The Storm, hosted by Tiffany Cloud. Candidates, politicians, community leaders, and more appear on the storm when they want to be heard. New shows air Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and these additional air times. Only on WYLN TV 35. We're your local network. And welcome back. We're in the teens. We're 12 degrees. Our live Lehigh tire conditions outside our station in Hazleton. But with those winds, they're fairly light. So walking outside, it actually feels like the actual air temperature indicates. So here's what we can expect the next couple of hours. Not a bad evening in store for our region. About 7 o'clock still. Uh, it's going to be kind of cold out there. But, you know, we'll have partly cloudy skies. About 15. We'll be dropping down to about 12. Remaining dry by 9 o'clock. And by 11 o'clock tonight, just a few clouds around. We should be already in the single digits will be down to about seven degrees on the radar there is nothing showing up it is dry and we're going to continue to stay dry right through the rest of this evening and as we head through the overnight hours now as we start going into tomorrow things are going to start to change across our region because you'll be able to see some of the blues coming through as we head into tomorrow afternoon now watch this right here that heavier band of snow, some snow squalls can be moving in as we head into, say, later tomorrow evening, maybe about 8, 9, 10 o'clock or so. Very similar scenario like the other day, and we can be looking at some of those heavier snowfall rates with those squalls coming down, maybe an inch or so an hour and some whiteout conditions. And once that comes through, what it's going to do is it's going to bring in that front and bring in some very cold air once again across all of our area. Here's a look of the extended forecast. 18 degrees for tomorrow. We got some snow coming through in form of some snow showers and eventually some snow squalls heading into tomorrow evening. And then uh, very cold for Thursday and Friday. Only 4 degrees for Thursday. Maybe a few snow showers around. Down to minus 5 for Thursday night. Only up to 8 Only 8 for Friday. And then uh, we could be looking at the calm before the next storm for Saturday. Because then by Sunday and Monday, we may have to be dealing with the potential of some more winter-like weather heading in our direction. A little bit warmer, though, for, for Sunday. There'll be some areas that could be above freezing. And if that storm system comes in early enough, it could give us a little bit of a mixture. But then by Monday, it's only going to be 20 degrees. And again, it's going to be cold heading into Tuesday. So we just cannot get rid of this cold weather 
anytime soon. It's it's here to stay, and it's we're, we're kind of entrenched in it. I was going to say, I'll take the 30 degrees, but I don't want the snow. But I don't even yeah. want to think about the weekend because there's still snow, a little bit of snow in our forecast in the beginning. So let's, yeah, well. at this point... Let's get through this, but be happy we don't live in uh, New England states. Because oh, they've been getting hammered one after the other. Yeah, and, and we yeah. always say that we get a lot of snow. Could so always be worse. It, it <laughs> could be worse, so just look at the Spring's bright side. Spring's just around the corner. And we're going to keep our fingers Third crossed and keep that countdown on, and we're going to circle it on all the calendars. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone.